Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is another update on the Bitcoin forking as promised. I'm coming to you quite regularly right now, pretty much every day with more and more updates. I did a video earlier uh, in which I explained the two exchanges that will be um, supporting the forking and uh, they will be creating you with uh, Bitcoin Cash tokens. So I'm going to explain a little bit more about this in this video. Okay, so first I want to start with pointing out that wallets like Coinbase or Xapo, you know, all of the commercial wallets that we've been talking about, uh, you know, to move your coins out of there, it's not that they're not safe. Many people started asking me, um, is Coinbase not safe? Do I need to move to blockchain? Is blockchain safer? It's not about safety, guys. The, the reason why we're saying that you should move your coins outside of these centralized um, wallets for the time of uh, the forking is because they're not going to be supporting the fork. They're not going to be supporting Bitcoin Cash, which is just an alternative coin, all right? This is the coin that is forking out of the blockchain, out of the main one. Bitcoin will stay Bitcoin. It will be um, implementing SegWit and it will be, you know, the, the Bitcoin that everyone will be using. The fork, which is, you know, a group of miners that decided that they're not happy with SegWit and they want bigger block, uh, b bigger block size they're creating the fork and it's going to be called bitcoin cash and it's just a separate coin it's going to be much cheaper than bitcoin it's not going to be the same value so bitcoin is not splitting into halves it's not going to be half even of the current value of bitcoin bitcoin will stay pretty much at the same price and then after that it will start going up again but uh, bitcoin cash will most likely go down in price very quickly because as soon as people get their hands on these tokens they're going to be selling it and um, bitrex and bitfinex are going to be um, well, they're going to support the fork, which means that they will be crediting your account with the same amount of Bitcoin Cash as you have Bitcoin in, in your wallet currently with Bitrex or Bitfinex. Uh, they haven't said that they're going to be trading it, but it's very likely that they will be trading it as well. And if that's the case, many people will be selling it really fast. In the first couple of days, I assume it will go down below the $100 price. It was speculatively traded uh, for around $450, uh, then it was down to $360 at some point. I think it's around $400, but in any case, I don't think this price will stay. So don't hold your breath and don't count on, on the fact that you might get, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of uh, Bitcoin Cash. It, it might be worth, you know, a few dollars in the end. We never know. They will still have to prove that they're a valuable coin. And for the moment, uh, as I'm seeing, the community is really not impressed. Many people were even asking me, why am I doing this video? Who wants Bitcoin Cash? Well, I know that some people want it. And the main reason is that you're not paying for it, right? You're not, you don't have to buy it. You will just receive it for free you know, according to however many Bitcoins you currently own. And um, the easiest way that I found was to just put my coins in Bitrex and Bitfinex. These are the two exchanges, not the only two, but the two big ones that are going to be supporting the forking. Um, I also see here that OKCoin OK is uh, probably supporting the forking and uh, another couple of exchanges via BTC, of course, because they are actually originating the forking. Allcoin and, and Bithump. So these are the ones that are supporting the forking. And the ones that are not going to support or the ones that haven't really uh, made up their mind yet, they haven't made statements, are Coinbase, definitely not supporting Bitstamp, definitely not supporting Poloniex, for the moment they're not supporting Kraken, Livecoin, Yobit, CSEX, Coin Payments, uh, payer and Payza and Circle, none of them have made any statements yet, which means that most probably they're not supporting the forking. So therefore, if you have Bitcoins in any of these that I just listed and, uh, you know, many other ones uh, that are centralized wallets and uh, they, they control your private keys, if they're not supporting the forking, that means if you want to have that Bitcoin Cash token, you need to go to Bitfinex or Bitrex or maybe OKCoin okay if you already have an account. Bear in mind, with this, most of the time you will have to verify. 
you might have a you know certain limit that you can deposit and withdraw without verification but if you want higher limits and if you want to you know have all of the functions of the website you will have to verify so you don't really have much time this is why i'm doing these updates right now as the news come up so that maybe you still have time to uh, react uh, you have a couple of days until july the 31st bear in mind it's very important after july the 31st don't do any transactions with bitcoin at least for a couple of days so i would say from midday july 31st until at least the 2nd of august I wouldn't be doing any transactions with Bitcoin. A lot of the exchanges have already stated that they will be freezing their deposits and withdrawals. Many other businesses will do the same thing because there will be many, um, you know, hacking attacks. There will be probably replay attacks and, uh, you know, people will try to do some double spending, which always happens at the times of forking. So there will be transactions that might get lost, uh, get stuck or uh, you know even double spent you don't really want your transaction to be in the middle of all of that chaos that's why just don't do any transactions from 31st of july until at least 2nd or 3rd of august this is this is what i'm advising also if you are moving your coins to bitrex or bitfinex and you you know you're gonna be waiting for the forking it will probably take uh, more than a few days it might be a week it might be a couple of weeks i remember when recently z classic forked and uh, zencash was um, created and we were given tokens of uh, both we had to wait for about a couple of weeks until the whole process is finalized and until we received the coins into our wallets and we were able to withdraw them so be prepared to have to wait for at least a week or two for those bitcoin cash tokens to be created to you it might not be the case but uh, I'm, I'm only saying that it, it's a possibility and also one more thing in my previous videos and uh, many other people also we have spoken about uh, moving your coins to a secure wallet like blockchain.info exodus jax um, ledger and trezor as i mentioned they all give you access to your private keys which is great it's safe but um, right now it's it's easier for you to actually put your bitcoins in um, bitfinex or bitrex and have them do the forking for you and credit you with the same amount of, co of tokens for bitcoin cash rather than keeping your bitcoin in trezor or ledger and then having to go and find the bitcoin cash wallet and import those private keys and get the bitcoin cash generated for you i mean that would be Probably not too complicated of a process, but complicated enough for many other people who are not really tech savvy. And uh, I'm one of those people. So I'm looking for the easiest solution for me. The easiest solution is to move my coins to Bitrex and Bitfinex. And this is what I'm doing. So this is everything for this update, guys. I hope it helps. And if you still have any questions, feel free to post a comment below the video. For those of you who are not supporting Bitcoin Cash and you, you don't really care about it, that's okay i'm doing these videos for people who might actually want to get some bitcoin cash i'm not trying to create any hype around bitcoin cash i personally don't take it seriously but uh, if you can get some free coins why not right so this is where i'm gonna leave you if, if there's any more information coming in the next couple of days i'm gonna make another update